everybody. I'm Mary. I have a store here in Phoenix called Q Contrary. I help men and women find clothes that fit and look good. I custom make suits, shirts, jackets. I tailor clothing. I do alterations and I sell a handful of things here in the store. So my background is men's design. I studied in New York at FIT. I spent about 15 years there designing and I've learned what it takes to help men and women be effective in business. So come to my store here in Phoenix. I'll help build a wardrobe for you to help you make the right first impression. Hey everybody, I want to talk about a simple way that you can take an old suit or jacket in your wardrobe and modernize it, right? So nowadays we all talk about this reuse and repurpose, which I think is so important because if you have good clothing in your closet that fits, you just have worn it so many times that you're kind of sick of it. I want to show you a couple ways to kind of modernize it, right? So with women, they can take a basic black dress, change the heels, the handbag, your hair, her makeup, all sorts of ways to make a simple black dress more modern or fun or stylized. Men, you can do the same thing. All right, so here on the table I have is a, just a basic blue suit. Yes, it's a little brighter, but it is just a blue suit. So if you have a blue suit in your closet, even a gray suit in your closet, I wanna show you a handful of accessories to add to your look just to kind of give it a little bit more life, right? So as you can see, white shirt, blue suit, classic, simple. This sort of tie, if we're gonna wear ties, this is just a classic men's tie. Micro pattern, blue, it's a great look because it ties the jacket, it matches the shirt, ties all the colors together, okay? So we all know we have these. If you've had ties in your closet for over five, six years, you might wanna recycle them or donate them um, and add a fresh new one. So if you're going to a wedding or you're going to a party or event or even business and you wanna add a little bit more style, add a little bit more color in your neckwear. Okay, so here's the pink. Again, it has a little bit of blue in it, which ties into the jacket and to the shirt with the white. Here's a great simple way that adds a lot of color in life. Love this tie, okay? Another option is go very simple and classic, just straight blue here, right? Very tonal, very chic. A lot of celebrities wear this look, especially to black tie events or award ceremonies or on the red carpet. So picking a tonal look here, nice texture, this shows a lot more modern and updated. Now, when you're picking a tie width, the, what I tell my clients is the width of the lapel should be proportioned with the width of your neckwear. So if your lapel is wider, go with a wider tie. If your lapel is more narrow, go with more of a narrow tie. Like I wouldn't suggest a gentleman with a really wide Tom Ford-esque uh, lapel to pick a skinny tie. I think the proportions look kind of off, okay? So this is great, the proportionate, classic, gorgeous, you know, modernize your look, all right? And then another of my favorite ones is this floral print. Again, it's tonal and dark, subtle, not super scary, but simple, okay? A little bit of pattern, a little bit more interest. Find things when you're looking for ties that nobody else has, right? Everybody has this sort of look, right? Add color, you know, pattern, something a little different. It'll totally change the look of your suit or your sport coat with your tie, okay? Love these. Another option you can do is switch the shirt, okay? So I'm gonna take this white one off. So all this is, is a blue purple check, okay? Yes, the purple is a little brighter, the blue is more pronounced, but this sort of look totally changes the look of the outfit. It is a little more casual. These checks are a little bit more traditional, a little bit more casual, but this, you pair this look with jeans, you pair this work look with the whole suit. Here's a great classic menswear look that you can wear forever. Okay, um, the way this is more updated is the plaid is more saturated, more modern, the color's a little bit happier and bright versus something more washed out and dated. Another option is this collar. Okay, this is more of a six inch spread wide collar. It's more of a spread collar. Mine, one of my favorite collars, it's classic, okay? But again, because it's a little bit more smaller, micro, a little bit more spread, and also, this fusing on the collar is a brand new shirt. So if you look in your wardrobe and you have this shirt, but you've had it for five years and the collar looks a little bit more dated, a little bit more worn out, it's time to recycle it. So the collar of your shirt is the focal point of your shirt. That's where everybody looks. So if this is, you know, lettucey or crinkled or not looking so hot, it's time to, it's time to get rid of it, okay? Love this. Again, you pair it with a nice, the blue tie. Class, awesome, love this, okay? Another simple thing you can do is add a pocket square. So here I put the white shirt back in, and another way if you did not wanna do a tie is to add a pocket square. So here's a great pocket square, a little more color. Again, it has a blue that picks up the blue in the suit. It doesn't have to be matchy-matchy. This isn't prom. 
When you went to prom, you matched your date, you matched the flowers, it was all matchy-matchy. Your vest match nowadays, as we're adults, no matchy-matchy, okay? So I love this sort of look. Fold it. You can look on Pinterest for a bunch of ideas on how to fold. You can check out my website, I have a great idea on how to fold a pocket square, but here, right? Life, color, exciting. And if you go to an event and no one's wearing pocket squares and it's much more casual, then take the pocket square out. Simple, still, stylized, okay? Another one I like is just classic white, okay? I fold this, this one has gray, you can do something with blue on it, you can find a pocket square with like multicolor. Stick it in here, this sort of look, nice and clean, subtle details. With men, less is more sometimes. So just a simple pocket square ties the whole look and evolves and updates the look, okay? So another way to update your look is the accessories like the shoes you're gonna wear, okay? So here is a nice brown shoe. The reason it's a little different than what you might have in your wardrobe, it has this monk strap, okay? Everyone should have a pair of brown shoes, a pair of black shoes. If you don't, stop watching this video and go get those, right? Start with a great pair, wear it, see how you like it. When you've worn the brown shoes or black shoes in your closet, they've got stitching down the center, you might wanna recycle those, they're a little dated, more of a square toed, you know, think of like, you know what those shoes look like, time to go. Here, a lot more cleaner, sleek. I love the brown, how it's a little redder, okay? Redder shoes are becoming a little bit more trendy. If you wanna think seasonally, darker browns, fall, winter, lighter brown, spring, summer. And don't forget, matching belt, okay? When you buy a pair of shoes, especially in more of like a unique color, buy a belt with it that matches, save you time and energy. Usually stores sell them together, or they'll have a belt section with their shoe section. Just do yourself a favor, get it, new, done. They should match, okay? Another trend that's happening, that's been popular the last couple years, is this leather shoe, okay? With the white, insoles here. It's dressier. I love that the laces are the same color as the leather shoe. So these are Cole Hans. Um, they've been making these for a while. You can find other versions where the white is a little bit more narrow from other brands. So if this kind of scares you, find a sole which is a little bit more narrow. But here, the blue shoes with your blue shoe. You could do brown shoes with this look. You can do black shoes with this look. But this sort of comfy and men, it's so comfortable. Or many times this dress shoe might hurt by the end of the day. This, you'll wanna wear all day long. You can also pair these with jeans and a bunch of other stuff in your closet, but do yourself a favor if you're getting a new pair of shoes this season, this should be the one for you. If you're scared of the blue, get another color, okay? Now for you that have had these shoes in your closet for a while, I talked to some shoe designers and manufacturers at the collective show in Chicago and they say the new thing is, is this sole is gonna be a lot more tonal and closer to the color of the shoe. So keep an eye out for that, all right? But this sort of look, if you watch again sports, gentlemen arriving to games, announcers talking about the games, anybody, this sort of dressy look is what they're all wearing. Love this, okay? And another simple way you can do is, if you're afraid of any of that, it's just fun socks. Men today, colored socks, when they sit down, they see their personality, very, very simple. These you can rotate in so many different ways. These are simple blue stripes. You can do more pattern or color, just kind of whatever you like, which suits you. So here are, I hope you love this. I hope you found this insightful. Um, take a look, message me or call me if I can help in any way with your wardrobe.